Welcome back. This is the second part of a three-part series. I'm back with head baseball coach Jim Chester. He's entering his second year with the Bald Eagles. The team hits the field this weekend. Today we're going to talk about the infielders and the outfielders. Coach, I know you're excited. You've got some experience coming back. You've mixed some new people into the lineup. Let's talk it through. Let's start at third base. Sure. Uh, you know, third base, we have returner Ethan Moore, uh, who started a majority of the games at third base last year. And uh, not only has uh, you know, grown as a player, um, you know, put a lot of work in the weight room. And I, I think he's going to be a uh, top of the line, middle of the order hitter in our, our side of the division this year. And I'm uh, excited to see him continue to grow as a player. Um, moving into this season. Uh, shortstop, you know, we're going to have somebody new. We got a couple guys uh, with some versatility. They're able to play a couple different infield spots. Um, first, is we have, you know, transfer is uh, Hunter Slafarski from Hagerstown Community College. He was an all-region performer. Um, you know, had a ton of extra base hits. Uh, very talented with his glove and bat, everything all the way around. We think he's going to be somebody that's going to be in our lineup uh, pretty much every day this spring. Uh, Giovanni Torres, who's a transfer from Hartford Community College, has uh, also done a great job uh, for us, worked extremely hard. He's improved every day since he's been here in the fall, and we're expecting him to help us out in a lot of different areas this spring. Aaron Andres is another transfer um, player for us from Norfolk State, who um, you know brings a big upside offensively and also can play a couple different defensive positions. So, you know, I think all three of those guys possess the ability to play shortstop um, and second base or third, so it gives us a lot of versatility going through. Uh, also, at second base, Jamie Eshelman returns from last year, who played a, played a lot of baseball for us. Uh, Jamie is, is another one of the most improved players on our team. His work ethic is contagious, um, also has improved in every area of his game, and I think he's found a really comfortable home um, at second base. You know, being a junior and being able to provide leadership for us is you know, going to be a big key for us in 2016, and I think Jamie's going to do a great job doing that. Um, over at first base, we have all region returner Justin Slay. Um, Justin Slay, um, you know, when I, when I thought he might not be able to have a better season last year, I think he's on the brink of doing it. Um, team leader, outstanding work ethic, strength and conditioning, everything that um, you would ask for in a player, he brings it. Uh, and we're really excited to see what he's got moving forward. Um, into 2016. Also, we have transfer Matt Lawn from Erie Community College, who's also going to be a staple in our bullpen, which we mentioned yesterday. He is also going to be, uh, be able to hit in the middle of our order. Uh, Left-handed swinger, uh, provides a, you know, a lot of pop at the plate, um, had outstanding numbers last year at Erie Community College, and I know this is going to be a, a big-time hitter for us this year. So we're really excited about what this group has. A lot of versatility, guys that can play different positions, and also a lot of offensive pop. Well, there you heard it, Bald Eagle fans. You better be excited about that. We blend in some fresh faces this year in the infield. We're really looking to get things going this weekend. Coach, let's talk about the outfield. Sure. Uh, again, we have six talented young men that have been working extremely hard um, you know, on and off the field, and I'm really excited to see this group move into 2016. Um, you know, as far as returners go, Tyson Petersheim's a junior who's got a ton of experience coming back. Uh, started uh, every game in center field for us last year, and he's coming back. And um, you know he's going to pr provide the same things that he always does every day with leadership, defensive skills, doing all the little things necessary to you know to be a great baseball player. Um, we have a transfer in Sam Kaiser uh, from USC Upstate. Um, Sam's a great athlete, swings it from the left side, leadoff hitter type capability. Um, he's going to be in that outfield, you know, really, you know, using his um, athletic ability to, to really help us get, get a little bit better. Um, we also have uh, Jimmy Webb. Jimmy Webb just transferred here in January. Jimmy was a highly recruited young man um, out of high school, went to Wake Forest, and has transferred in here to Lock Haven. Um, Jimmy's kind of a complete player, can really swing it, can run well, uh, great defensively, and uh, is going to be an extremely tough out for a lot of PSAC teams here. Um, here in 2016. We also, we also have uh, Dalton Brenneyes. Dalton Brenneyes is a freshman coming in here. Got a tremendous amount of upside. He's been working his tail off and we think he's going to be a really good player for us here in the future. Um, Demetrius Haskins is also a freshman. Um, Taylor Alderdice Pittsburgh, um, probably the fastest young man on our team. He's going to cause a lot of matchup problems here when we're able late in the game, pinch running, doing some of those things and, and really help us you know, moving forward. Last young man is Nick Stotler, who's another transfer from Coker College. Uh, you know, he, he has worked tremendously hard, too, and we, we think he's going to be a staple in our outfield. A uh, physical young man, can swing it, um, run a little bit, um, do the, the things we need. we got six guys in the outfield that I feel very comfortable about putting in at any time, and I think that all of them complement each other. And um, I really believe, um, you know, the outfield was a question mark for us in 2015. Um, I think it's our strength, and I would put it up against anybody's. All right, Bald Eagle fans, there you go. Yesterday we talked about the pitchers and catchers. 
Today you heard from Coach Chester on the infield and outfield and some of the offensive expectations for the season. Tomorrow we'll round out our three-part series as we'll talk about a little bit about the strengths and weaknesses of the team and we'll talk about this weekend's action. Coach Chester, thanks. Thank you.